uh, we left the shelter maybe like 30 minutes ago. I slept so well. We were supposed to get up early to get into Monson early, as early as possible, but I snoozed a lot because <laughs> it was just raining and we were right next to the brook, so it was hard to tell the difference between the rain and the brook sound and like when I'm like asleep and waking up, it just felt like, oh no, it's pouring. Uh, I do think it was raining until almost like, until right around five. Um, <clears throat> but we got up around 5.20, I think, and um, had coffee and journaled. Um, that was really nice. I got a new journal at the Sterling Inn yesterday and oh, it felt nice. It was like a nice, it was a nice size and um, I enjoyed writing in that journal more than in my small journal, but it's only going to have a few pages of the AT in it. So that feels a little weird, but oh well. <clears throat> my other journal, I haven't checked on it too much. It just seems still like moist. So I have it in a Ziploc bag, so it hasn't been able to dry out, really. So we'll see, maybe all of those journal pages will be lost to the water. Um, anyways, we have 22 miles or so into Monson today. So probably like 11 hours at least. <laughs> but maybe 12 hours, depending on how the terrain is. It, we have like one big climb and then it's pretty flat. So that's really nice. But even the flat stuff is hard to navigate with the rocks and the roots and the puddles. Um, so it's not always super fast hiking or anything. My knees felt like way less swollen this morning. I did a few stretches, but not the whole routine. <sighs> so, and my kneecaps were really hurting on the downhills yesterday, like on the steep down. So that's a bummer, but I just keep, keep hoping that everything will be okay and I'll be able to make it all the way to Katahdin. <sighs> so seven full days including today and we should be hiking up to the top of Mount Katahdin. Ah! Oh. Okay, more later. Look at this rock wall. <laughs> Levi is showing us this tree. It's so cool, growing like right on top of this rock. It's amazing. Wow. Oh, almost to the top of a mountain, a bald mountain. Do you know which one it is? No. Neither of us know. We'll find out at the top. Okay, we realize the name of this mountain is Moxie Bald Mountain. Can you even read that? mountain named after the moxie soda of me? Let me know in the comments. If it is, I should have hiked down a moxie to drink up here, but I didn't know. Um, it's not raining too bad. This mist isn't so bad. We just passed Cayenne, who is a hiker we just met at the shelter last night, who's been in the logs ahead of us for hundreds of miles now. So we've been wondering who this person is and we finally got to meet him. He's super nice, super cool. He started the end of January and he's just been awesome. We like super consistent, just like us. So we never caught him until today. Um, and he'll finish right around the same time as us. The trail goes this way. Luffy is whistling. This is our trail whistle. I haven't talked about it before. <laughs> I got that whistle on the PCT from my hiking friend Hummer and the stormtroopers that I hiked with on the PCT in the middle of Northern California. And I borrowed the 
whistle to have use my trail whistle here. So I've been whistling like that at Coyote. It's nice to whistle to get the other hiker's attention because then you don't have to be like, hey, where are you? What's going on? Like, are you over there? You can just give a whistle and then they can whistle back. And then you know if they're ahead or not or, um, <clears throat> or what. So Coyote and I have been doing that and now Leffy and I have been doing it. So this is a random thing. Look at this amazing tree with all the weird fungus I like. And then beautiful leaves. Oh no, I think we have to get in this. And one of the other guys we met last night, he was a Sobo. He said that w there were two deep river crossings. One of them is waist deep. So this one doesn't look like it'll be waist deep, but it depends on how far, how deep it is below that and above that if we cross here. Otherwise, this does look very deep. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so Luffy let me borrow his sandals because my boots will become 10 pounds as soon as I have to get them soaked. So hopefully this isn't bad on my feet. We'll find out. Okay, we made it across. My boots are back on. <laughs> Ooh, okay, look at these pretty flowers. They've been all over the trail. And then look at this green fungus. <laughs> I called it green moss and we've been laughing about that. Cause it's ridiculous, all of the moss has been green, but the fungi has been white or tan or weird colored. So that is some cool some cool tree fungus right there. That was the most incredible bunny ever. I have never seen a rabbit like jump like that through the forest. He came, he jumped right at us, yeah. stopped, and then I, that was like when I got the camera on and then hopped away so fast. He was so big. I haven't seen like, I feel like he was like a jackrabbit. I don't know. Does anyone know what kind of rabbit he was? That was amazing. Oh. It's the land of animals yeah. today. I thought that was a cub for a second. I was like, oh shit. Is that the one animal I don't want to see today? Oh no, 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 no. We just crossed a river where I already had to take my boots off again. It was short, but look at this. Oh no, this might be the waist deep one. There it is, right there. Oh, the trail? Yep. Oh, trail and it's starting there. to rain. And the bugs are probably gonna come out. Definitely the least fun part of the day. There's all these river crossings. So many mosquitoes, they're everywhere. I've killed about a hundred. I think at this point I was wearing some form of bug repellent on my hands and my face. 
Um, so it was primarily my legs being attacked. <laughs> Just have to diligently watch. Otherwise, they'll get you. See all of them? My goodness. pretty waterfall rivers but too buggy to capture them all. We're like two miles or two and a half miles from the next river crossing which should be the last one where I have to take off my shoes. Which will be the fourth one of the day. Okay last one. I just flicked two ticks off my pants when I changed into shorts. <laughs> Last one of the day. Last one. It's probably really good for my legs, actually. Kind of soothing and terrible. Got up to about my butt cheeks. End it all. Honestly, taking off and putting back on my waterproof boots and my long pants was super tedious. Um, there were so many river crossings and I really just did not want to get my waterproof boots soaked. Um, every time we crossed the river I would have to dry off and then change and it just took so long. So definitely had me rethinking um, waterproof boots at this point. This forest is so gorgeous. Wow. Whew. We made it to the scenic view, the second climb of the day. And we just have two miles down to the road crossing to Monson, where Shaw's is gonna pick us up. I'm feeling tired of the bugs, roots, rocks, water, and ready to go into town. <laughs> okay, literally the second I was like, oh, I'm tired, there was one blowdown, two blowdowns, three blowdowns, four blowdowns. Yay. Someone just slipped down this rock like a clown. <laughs> but he didn't fall, so it's funny. Uh, okay. Finally, we are walking up on the parking lot where we're getting shuttled to Shaw's. Last trail town. Oh my gosh, how is this real? If only we didn't have like oh, so far to go still. <laughs> 100 Mile Wilderness is after this, and then Katahdin right away. So, yeah, crazy. We're going to a pub first, some pizza. How do you feel? I feel tired. Last trail town. 11 hours, 33 minutes, 36 seconds. Oof, that's a lot of walking. 22 miles, right? So Mike, the trail angel that hosted us in Rangeley, actually covered our stay here at Shaw's. We are so grateful to you, Mike. Thank you so much for your magic and your generosity. Okay, staying in a little, basically a bunk room, but it's a private room. <sighs> we made it to Shaw's in Monson. So happy. Oh, yay! Look how cute this town is! 
Oh, adorable. Okay, we're headed to the Lakeshore House Pub.